What's going on YouTube? Today I got a brand new YouTube video for you guys. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys my mobile detailing setup. So here I have my 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Custom Edition. This truck did come out to $54,000, but it is worth the investment because this is an investment into a business. Lower down the tailgate and like that, bam. So here we have my mobile detailing setup. So here I have my 100 foot hose. I have a 50 foot air hose and I have my little air compressor right there, the DeWalt. I have a Predator generator and a Honda GX200 engine with a AR pressure washer pump. And then right there in the back, I have a water tank for 65 gallons. And I do use a DI water filter. So that is 100% DI water, zero PPM water inside of that tank. And then all of this is on a wood base here. So you guys can see that we kind of custom made this to fit in the back of the bed of the truck. And it's all basically bolted onto this. So it's really not that easy to really shake now let's go over the reasons why i chose a truck over a van now part of the reason why i went with the truck instead of a van is basically because i don't only do detailing i also do landscape and other things that just a van wouldn't be too practical in my scenario now a van is a lot more useful especially when it comes with detailing but like i said with my situation a truck was much better so let's go over numbers the truck came out to about fifty four thousand six hundred dollars around there and then let's go over how much it costs to actually make the whole setup so inside of the truck, inside the cabin, I have two boxes with the chemicals and the tools that I use for detailing. And then back here, I have basically like the bigger tools and just engines and things like that. So most of the stuff I got over at LA because I just couldn't find this AR pressure washer pump right here anywhere in my area. So I went with this one. Now they did have this one with a rear hose on top that was already connected, but I went with this one just because I knew I was gonna go with the truck and just having this reel on top would not be too practical. So I just went ahead and bought the pressure washer and I bought the reel separately. So it gives me a little more wiggle room when setting up my custom setup right here. So this by itself was a thousand bucks, the engine and the pressure washer pump right here was a thousand dollars and then we go over here to the generator and this was about six seven hundred dollars around there from harbor freight the good thing about that is that it does have extended warranties on it so if anything were to happen to it all you got to do is just take it back and then replace it no questions asked so we also bought a pressure washer gun right here this was about 110 dollars just because it is more heavy duty and you can also feel it like when you when you carry it it feels a lot more heavier the plastic feels a lot more thicker so as it's like you know scraping on the floor or you set it on the floor or anything it won't get as much wear and tear as with a cheaper pressure washer gun so now let's move over to this side so right here i have my 100 foot hose with the 100 foot hose reel so the hose by itself was about 250 bucks around there and then the hose reel was about 200 dollars. so that's about a 450 dollars setup just in that by itself here are four foot pressure hose right here so it's able to withstand the pressure from the pressure washer so it goes from here from the pressure washer pushes it out onto this hose and then pushes it into the this pressure washer hose so that was about i think about 50 bucks around there and then we go over here to the hose reel so here we have the 50 foot hose reel this was about 90 dollars from harbor freight again it's a good idea to really purchase their extended warranties because for any reason you just take it back and they'll replace it no questions asked now this to watt air compressor i purchased from amazon but i like this one over the harbor freight ones just because it has a little more power and it was cheaper so this is the predator generator that i got from harbor freight like i was talking about earlier it has 6500 max starting watts and 5500 max running watts so i like this one because i had the 3500 the quiet generator from predator as well but i didn't like it because it wasn't able to run my tractor comfortably i can hear it struggling and it would just run through gas like crazy so that was definitely not a good idea for me in my case you know i know a lot of detailers that do go with the super quiet one but in my case this one was going to get the job done a lot better so then here i have my 65 gallon low profile water tank so then i also strapped it down with the water heater so a lot of people strap it down with like the little tie down straps but I went with this because, I mean, I was looking at the water heater and if it can hold a water heater, it can definitely hold 65 gallons of water in the back of the bed. And it's also screwed down onto the wood, so it's not going anywhere. Now later I'm gonna buy like a shutoff valve that goes like right here. So then when I'm filling it up, I don't really have to worry about shutting off the water. It will just shut off by itself when it is full. So that is what I will be putting on this tank in the future. But for now, that is gonna be doing the job. So from the water tank, I ran a hose down here around the back right there and then up into the pressure washer pump right here. So then from here, it runs into the pressure washer, does its thing right here, and then it shoots back either into the hose right here, or it goes back into the return back into the tank so if you guys do not know with non-electric pressure washers like this gas one when you turn off your pressure washer so like when you're not using it no more you're not spraying normal water what the pressure washer does is it keeps cycling the water so the engine is still running what's happening is the water is still cycling right here so if you let it just cycle back on itself all it's going to do is just going to heat up this water and it's going to wear down your seals and any plastic pieces inside of here so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make a return back into your tank so 
the water doesn't keep cycling right there so it returns back over there and you'll minimize the risk of your seals or anything like that getting damaged from the heat of the water because it does get hot because its engine is getting hot so just keep that in mind if you are setting up a mobile detailing van or truck or whatever you're going to use now here i do have like a longer hose just so when i am like filling up buckets or anything like that i can just use this put it down and fill up a bucket like that and it has a little shut off valve right there so i can just switch it on and off and shut it off and then from the generator i also bought a little connection that connects from the ac 120 to 240 volts from the outlet that's supposed to be like for like rvs and it converts it into three different outlets right here so that can use for like my vacuum my extractor or anything like that so that's basically the setup for the back of the truck now let's go inside of the cabin and see what's inside of there so here we are inside of the truck itself so on this side i have should be my tools that I have on this side, just because when you park, you basically park your passenger side towards the driveway or towards the sidewalk, which is where most cars are gonna be. So I set that side to be my chemicals and this side to be my tools because my tools, I don't really use it just as much. Like the fan, I don't use it every single time. The polishes, not every single time and all this other stuff that I don't use every single time. Now in here, I do have kind of like my essential chemicals that I fill up most often. So like my brake cluster, my enzyme cleaner, my carpet and upholstery, and of course my express interior detailing. So those are the four main chemicals that I go through when detailing those four chemicals. So I keep those on hand just in case I need to refill them. And of course I have a 25 foot extension cord right here and I have another 25 foot that I think is in my garage. So it's not in here just yet so now here we are on the other side so i have here my drinks of course gotta stay hydrated when detailing i have some microfibers there and i have most of them in the garage so when i do need them i just stack this up and it's ready to go i have my tornador right here right there and then i have my drawer brushes and everything i need in here so this is for like agitating the carpets and all that stuff the seats and all that good stuff and then here i have where all of these chemicals are so if i go ahead and open this up you guys can see all of my chemicals are all stored in here. The good thing about keeping them in a container like this is that the smell won't come out and like get into your car or anything like that. And also if they were to spill, they will be contained inside of here. So you don't have to worry about it getting on the carpet or anything like that of your vehicle. So here I have most of my chemicals. So I have my carpet and upholstery. I have my little interior detail bag that has everything I need for interior detailing, anything from brushes to scrub ninjas, anything I need. Here I have my wheel dressing applicator. I have some magic sponges right there i have my wheel cleaner i have another foam cannon just in case i need it it's good to have two just in case one breaks or you drop or anything like that it's good to have a backup just in case because you never know now here i have my other chemicals my paint gloss my bug off for bugs my true view for windows brake buster everything i need for detailing a whole interior and exterior of a vehicle so yeah that's what's in this case right here Go ahead and close that up now i'm glad that this truck does have a full two doors a full back door and a full front door because it gives me more space in the back so that is basically my whole truck setup now it does close up nice and clean like that just like that leaves just a little bit amount of space right there with the pressure washer is and a good amount of space right there so i do have a little bit more space to work with now when i do go wash a car I just put my buckets right there just to have them ready to go so yeah that's basically going to conclude this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like down below comment any questions or anything like that if you guys do have any questions about detailing about the setup or anything i mentioned in this video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video